Miss Colombia. Buenas noches. My name is Paula Andrea Betancura. I come from Amazonas, Colombia. The first semifinalist for Miss Universe of 1993 is Miss Colombia, Paula Betancourt. Paula's one of the best talkers in the group, and that should make her interview very lively. Miss, ladies and gentlemen, the 1993 Miss Universe swimsuit competition, beginning with Miss Colombia. What I've enjoyed most as Miss Colombia is raising money for the preservation of the Amazon. I find it extremely fulfilling to, in some small way, help the cause of environmental awareness. Miss Australia, welcome back to Mexico City as we continue our live competition with the interviews. These interviews are spontaneous and unrehearsed, and the ladies are being judged on poise, intelligence, personality, and the content of their answers. And for those contestants who've requested it, we have interpreters standing by from De La Vega Professional Translating Services Incorporated, and we begin with Miss Colombia. This is Paolo Bettinger. She's 20 years of age, studying to be a fashion designer, working for an organization dedicated to the preservation of the Amazon. I know you spend a lot of time in the Amazon. Would you please paint us a picture of the Amazon? Sé que has uh, pasado mucho tiempo en el Amazonas y quiero que nos lo describas. Es un sueño, es un sueño de has hecho realidad. Es una maravilla. Es el país más lindo, el departamento más lindo que tiene el mundo. Es no nuestro pulmón del mundo. Tenemos los únicos delfines rosados que hay en el mundo y es el pulmón del mundo y eso es lo que yo quiero hacer, proteger nuestro medio ambiente. Thank you. It is a marvelous place. It is a fairy tale of a land. We have we are the lungs or the heartthrob of the world and we are the only place in the world that has Pink dolphins. It is a marvelous land. Muchas gracias. There are 120 nuns back home rooting for you. How did this happen? Tengo entendido que hay 120 monjas que están acá vitoriéndote. ¿Cómo es eso? Bueno, muy pequeña quería ser monja antes de ser reina y yo sé que ellas me están acompañando y el Señor también me está acompañando en estos momentos. Gracias. When I was very young, before I wanted to be a beauty queen, I wanted to become a nun. So I know that they're all supporting me and so is our Lord. Thank you very much. Please step over here. Miss Colombia. Next is Miss Australia, Bonnie Dunn. And now amidst the ancient moonlit ruins of Palenque, here are ten beautiful ladies wearing gowns of their own choosing. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1993 Miss Universe Evening Gown Competition beginning with Miss Colombia. Ladies and gentlemen, the six finalists for the title of Miss Universe 1993. Thank you very much. Miss Colombia, please come forward. There's some still left. All right. This question comes from judge number one, Maria Conchita Alonso. Tell us something about yourself that uh, you haven't already told the press. Did you hear the question? I certainly did. Cuéntanos algo sobre tu persona que no le hayas contado ya a la prensa. Bueno, que soy una persona muy sencilla, muy honesta, 
y me pueden llegar muy fácil a mí y vengo de Colombia, el país más lindo, con la gente más linda, con el calor más humano más lindo, que tenemos muchas cosas que mostrar. Esa es Colombia, Paula Andrea Betancourt. What I'd like to say is that I am a very down-to-earth person, I am a very sensitive and honest person, and I represent my country, which is a beautiful country, which has a lot to offer, a country that is one of the most beautiful in the world. My name is Paula Andrea Betancourt, and I invite you all to come. Thank you very much. Please wait here. The last time Miss Columbia won, the country built her a mansion, declared her tax exempt, and issued a stamp of her. Well, I wonder what they'll do if Paolo wins tonight. Thank you very much. If you'd rejoin the other ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes the judges' questions for our six finalists. We will reveal the final three contestants right after this. Welcome back live to Mexico City. We began the evening with 79 extraordinary young women, and now the judges have chosen the final three contestants for the title of Miss Universe 1993. Thank you, sir, very much. I'll again read the names in random order. The final three are Miss Colombia, Paula Betancourt, <laughs> Miss Venezuela. We have to wipe off a little lipstick. Here, you will do that, all right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Ladies, it's been a long journey. We've now arrived at the last round of competition, the final question. I have that question here. I will ask all of you the same question. You will have 20 seconds in which to answer. To be fair, we want to send uh, Miss Puerto Rico, Miss Venezuela, aquí, allí, to the, to the booth, please. And if you and I will step over here. Have the translator. They will not be able to hear in the isolation booth. There will be playing music in there. Everybody gets the very same question. Is everybody locked away? All right. Oh. The final question. If you were to become Miss Universe, what is the single most important thing you would want to accomplish? Si te convirtieras en Miss Universo, ¿qué sería la cosa más importante que quisieras tú lograr? Bueno, como vengo del pulmón del mundo, Amazonas, Colombia, conservaría y mi meta sería unirme con todas las naciones que tengan que ver con la protección del medio ambiente y ecología. Me uniría con ellos para en campaña para que nuestros niños, nuestro futuro, puedan vivir en una tierra llena de vida, de amor y de tranquilidad. Since I come from the land of the Amazonas in Venezuela, we are like the lungs of the world. What I would do is that I would join with all the countries in the world on, in an ecological campaign so that we can conserve our natural resources, so that we can then offer them to our children who are the future of the world, so that they will be able to live in a healthy and loving environment. Thank you very much. Could you please step over here? I beg, excuse me. And now, please, may we have Miss Venezuela. Hold on just a moment now. The judges will make one last decision now. This is the final vote to determine the winner. As each contestant steps forward, the judges will give her a ranking of three, two, or one. And as they vote for her, they will be doing so to elect her as the second runner-up, the first runner-up, or the new Miss Universe. And we will begin with Miss Colombia. Miss Venezuela. Thank you, ladies, if you'll join me now. And now, we're about to reveal the name of the first runner-up and the new Miss Universe. Let me remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. If Miss Universe is unable to compete her brain for any reason, the first runner-up will become Miss Universe. Ladies, good luck to both of you. The first runner-up is Miss Columbia. Miss Universe is Miss Puerto Rico. The United States. 